This tutorial is a fluid analysis of a pseudo-plastic fluid flow in LISA. The fluid is flowing between parallel plates 1.6 meters apart, with a decreasing pressure of 10 pascals per meter. Right-click the default analysis type, to change it to two-dimensional fluid non-Newtonian. A cross-section of the flow between the plates will be modeled. Begin by using the new node tool button, to place the four corner nodes of the cross-section. Use the new element tool button, to create a single element over the cross-section. Activate Select Faces, select the element, then subdivide the element using Custom Refine. Change these linear elements into quadratic elements, using Change Element Shape. To assign a material property to the elements, right-click the component in the Outline tree, select Assign New Material. In the Fluids tab, select Herschel Bulkley. Type the values for the Critical Shear Stress, Consistency Index, and the Flow Behavior Index. As the velocity of the flow in contact with the plates is zero, these nodes need a zero velocity constraint to be applied. Drag to select the nodes at the top. Hold the control key down, then drag to select the nodes at the bottom edge. Right click loads and constraints, choose on selected nodes, then select new well Z. Accept the default zero value. To apply a pressure gradient, Activate the Select Elements mode, drag to select all the elements. Right-click Loads and Constraints, select New Pressure Gradient Z, then type the value of the pressure gradient. Next, solve the model. To display the results, click the Velocity Magnitude in the Solutions section of the Outline tree. Click the Tool button to show the vectors of the fluid flow. To view the arrows, rotate the model so that it is not parallel to the screen. This ends the pseudo-plastic fluid flow tutorial. This model is a verification sample documented in the tutorials and reference PDF guide, installed with LISA.